Hello, Daz Studio patrons. I am not from this world, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Hey, so it's been awesome hearing from all of you and your comments. I really appreciate that, especially in my last video where I was asking about my new graphics card. I do have an update. I was so excited to get it last week and I'm preparing to make a bunch of videos on installation and then run tests to show you the difference between a 3070 GPU and a 4070. And I got everything out this weekend. I was cleaning and servicing my PC. I got everything set up, took out the old 3070, got ready to install the 4070. And it is literally two millimeters too long to fit in my case. And I was just devastatedly bummed that I couldn't get my new 4070 graphics card into my machine. Luckily, I have a friend who is a computer guru. So I was telling him I was really bummed that I was going to have to return my graphics card because I couldn't get it to fit in the computer. And he said, ah, oh, we'll figure it out. I'll come over and we will um, either get it in or we'll just swap out your case. So I'm in the process of getting this new graphics card in my computer. I'm either going to be getting a new case or we're going to be figuring out how to get it in. But I will keep you updated on those tutorials because I am super excited to get that 4070 into my computer. For today, because I can't run any graphics card experiments, I do have a Daz Studio challenge for my patrons that use the Render Q3. And so I have Milica in her scene where I showed you in Hexagon how to um, move clothing. So I just liked this picture for some reason. So I brought it back up and kind of changed the colors of her clothing to give it a new look. But one of the problems that I have with my 3070 graphics card, which I'm currently still using, is when I render with render queue multiple pictures, I set up a queue. A lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time, it will render three or four pictures and then drop from GPU to CPU. And I go from having render times of two to five minutes to 20, 30, sometimes we're talking two hours. And so I know it's because I am dropping from the GPU to the CPU. And I know that it's basically a bug in Daz Studio where it doesn't clear the memory. And once the GPU hits its limit, it drops to CPU. My question is, why does it happen in render queue? Is it a setting? And I just need some of your advice, those of you that use render queue 3. You know, unfortunately, you can't purchase this product anymore from Daz Studio. I know it's ridiculous. Render Q3 is awesome and I use it all the time except I just have this continual problem where I set up a scene and it just drops from GPU to CPU. And so like for example, I will add this current scene and if I go to uh, add the current scene and then hit all visible cameras, it will render but it only renders renders three or four pictures and then it drops to CPU. I'm just wondering, have you experienced this? Is this something that you have noticed and something that you're dealing with, something that you fixed? Is it one of the settings? I just don't know what it could be. And I know that some of you may say that in render queue, you can set it up so that you can kill Daz Studio and reboot it 
and that will purge your GPU memory. Now I have tried this and I've got to say it doesn't work because after it kills Daz Studio and RenderQ brings it back up, it no longer will render your list of cameras. It just goes right to the perspective camera and just will render that and then stop. So if you look at here under the, the um, tools, it says restart Daz after so many renders. Trust me, I have tried this and it will not render once it comes back online, it won't render your queue. It just renders the one and then stops. So how do I fix that? Uh, you know, it's pretty crazy to think that we have this really cool asset and I have nothing but trouble with it. You know, when I am going to bed and I'm going to render a series of pictures and it takes 50 minutes or two hours to render and I'm going to bed and going to work and stuff, I just let it happen because it's, at least it's rendering. And when I get back home, you know, those renders are usually finished. But, you know, if I'm working like on the weekends and I want to render pictures quickly, I cannot set up multiple scenes. Uh, a lot of times I can't even render a series of eight to ten cameras in one scene. It'll just drop down. So let me know what you think. Let me know what your solution to this is. And I would really appreciate it. You know, if you don't have Render Q3, talk to me and I will give you some alternatives to it. Uh, you know, the um, Daz Studio Premiere, which I still don't have. I'm planning to get it this year at some point just to critique it and make videos on it and tell you what I think about it. But I still haven't pulled that trigger yet. You can supposedly get Render Q with the Premiere subscription. But as of right now, the product I'm using is no longer available. So um, you can talk to me about alternatives to that and I will help you out. Okay, so that's all it is today. Hopefully next week I will be able to run comparisons on my new graphics card. So super excited. My buddy's coming over this weekend and we're going to get things straightened out. So until then, put your comments down, like, subscribe, let me know how you deal with Render Q3, and happy rendering. Mm -hmm.